Ana's facial thigh is probably one of the most authentic historic structures still remaining in St. Augustine. St. Augustine has 33 colonial buildings. However, most of those have been modified considerably. All right, they're incorporated into newer, newer structures or they've been added onto significantly so that even though some portions of those structures are authentic 18th century structures, only a couple of them have maintained their historical integrity. And one of those is the Jemez Facio site where you actually have a colonial era building and you have a kitchen, a detached kitchen that was part of it. And what the colonial dames have done is to bring that back to the way it looked back in the 1850s. And I think that is, you know, kudos to them. You know, without their dedication, who knows how this property would have ended up. What they've done here in terms of uh, the research that has gone on here, no one else has done that for any of the other properties in St. Augustine. When you look at, they've done what they call dendrochronology, which is actually trying to get a handle on when the wood was cut for the actual beams. They have actual cutting dates to show when they cut the trees for the construction of this house. All the documentation that they've done in terms of the walls, the floors, you know, I mean, that's an incredible database. This house, I mean, what I'd love to do is dig through your floors <laughs> and to look at really what the earlier floors are like. But I know I'm not going to be doing that. So, um, but you know, I, it's just a wonderful opportunity to come in here and do what I'm doing and to be part of a project that enables the public to share in the excitement of archaeology and in the process of discovery. A visitor who is interested in the history of St. Augustine, interested in seeing what life was like 150 years ago, the Hemes Facio site is a must visit. You have to visit it because you come away with a greater appreciation of how people lived in this subtropical environment without air conditioning. And I think if I lived in a house like this, I could probably survive without air conditioning, too.